Okay, welcome to the room of contrasting colors, um, commentary, uh, not really a commentary on how to beat the room, basically a good developer commentary. Welcome to the room of contrasting colors, good luck because you might not beat this. This is like, um, a very low extreme. Might, um, be insane for all those, um, elite obvious out there. Uh, yeah. Also, by the way, this is the first hard part for some people. Basically, the way how I do it is just jump, flick into the middle of this, then just slide over like that. Also, both of the songs that I chose from this are known from the rhythm game community. You can probably tell that um, once we get to the later sections these jump this jump used to be much harder by the way there now welcome to the second section also by the way this block believe it or not this actually is synced to the music wait just a sec so basically what i did was that i converted the bpm to the song to the length of um a beat so basically that's what i set to the toggle time of that um b block Sorry for failing at that jump. Um, this is th lots of this gameplay was based off of Mintastic, um, tiered obby, You know what I mean? This jump used to be higher, but I nerfed it. You have to jump on in onto the corner of this truss. By the way, that's the way how I do it. Um, I mean, uh, this beat block right here, uh, yeah, it kinda sucks, but I know how to do it well, you just gotta slide over like that, there you go, welcome to the third section, so basically, you cannot, um, uh, yeah, you can fall through the, um, f through this, so basically if you fall through, you basically just, um, lose all of your progress and your run is over. So, be absolutely careful. This room took a while, by the way. I meant this section. This room did take a long time to make. But yeah, um, th this, this uh, squeeze might seem hard, but I forgot to mention, this spin right here, it goes fast. It goes really fast, so, um... Yeah, you're gonna have to go quick. You have to you have to land onto here, by the way. Um, this is a little squeeze that's very annoying. Walk around. Then have to go back because of that arrow, you know, going to. I had to take a wedge and rename it to a button activated platform and put it into the folders. This arrow points over here, like that. This truss used to not be there by the way. Um this jump used to be very RNG, so I just added th this truss. Uh, and yeah, now it's much easier. But yeah, good luck on that jump. That jump's actually very hard. And welcome to white space. I was thinking about adding a black light bulb, bulb in the middle, but I forgot to do that. Um, so yeah. This jump, this first jump, it, re it requires a certain strategy, but what I do is just... Um, do it sideways and hopefully you should climb it up like that i do it on the other side by the way i do this on the other side it's just three two one like that by the way i thought of this idea earlier um to, to for this to be white space for some reason um, once you go to the higher levels of this, it, it actually turns on the fog. I don't know why, that's just a Roblox issue. Do not touch the neon brick. You're supposed to go around this truss, and then jump off like that. But, um, what happens if you touch it is that you teleport to the second, um, section. So please don't actually touch the neon brick. Another beat block. It's around a 10 stud wrap. Kill brick. Oh yeah, um, this rap is actually quite hard, but it's actually quite easy if you get consistent at it. Or you can also do it like that, yeah. 
the ladder. This used to be much harder, by the way. Um, basically, I thought of doing it like tr a truss like this, a truss like this. So I have to go around. But yeah, I nerfed this um, jump a lot. This part used to not be there, so be thankful I added it. This has to be the hardest segment, in my opinion. It's actually pretty hard. So basically, I got most of this gameplay from a tiered obby, again. It's um, called Concussion. It's a truss. By the way, this um, segment used to be, like, much harder. Like, much harder. I'm talking about, like, very hard. But yeah, this got nerfed a lot. But this is... But the thing is, it's still tricky. Um... Yeah, this is a pretty long jump. Just wait till the B block deactivates, then just jump onto here. When it activates. You're supposed to only use the B block to like, go onto here. Um, yeah, this jump kind of sucks. Good luck. And also, this spins. I could have added a cylinder like uh, below it to like, note that, hey, you're supposed to turn this around. But I decided to not do it, because part count limit you know jump onto this truss you're supposed to go around it um don't do what I just did um, yeah like that there you go this little thing here this teleport to you it's that's actually wedge uh, welcome so these two things this one's a speed remover I meant uh, like a speed that Boost your speed up a bit so you can go up the conveyors, and one is um, a jump booster that removes your speed. So basically you're supposed to hold W to go up the conveyor, and to let go you can just do this. Sorry. Alright, okay. This is a neon brick. If you touch it, go back. So, don't touch that please. Let me just go over here. Bam. Like that. Just have to you just have to like walk across like that avoid the half studs make sure you be careful because you might get rng'd and roblox might think that you're just touching the conveyor even though you aren't also the button only activates this and all these platforms it's a spinner there we go also by the way there is a skip that i intentionally added so basically you can go on the spinner like this then you can go on this then you could just heal and then you can go over here i'm gonna leave that in just so you can people just it's not really worth it because you know it's a, it skips these easy sections so yeah it's a conveyor um Make sure you're going all the way right here, because it slightly, this conveyor slightly shoves you. Oh, and also your speed booster, um, boost is removed now. Now you're just normal, regular speed. Slash each tier and step against the wall once your character reaches the highest point. So basically what I'm saying is that you use slash each tier, right? Once your character reaches the highest point, like reaches to the highest point, you just press W. But basically what other people do is just do that. It's honestly easier, so I suggest you do it. Just go around these trusses, very easy and simple. Dodge those parts, walk around onto this ladder. But yeah, make sure you go around this part. Like that, alright, now I'm just gonna go through here. This um, segment, I gotta say, took the longest. Um, oh yeah, this, this is the hardest part. Just gotta go into here, then latch on the truss. Welcome to the longest um, segment, I think. Uh, welcome to the four trials complete chunks. I suggest you do this one first. Just to get over the GBJ. It doesn't really matter what order you do the, um, the um, trials, really. But this one, this jump right here, it's very long. So I suggest um, really taking your time on this jump. Because if you fail um, these two jumps, or three, then you're just dead. I also suggest doing this um, first because this um, trial is very annoying in my opinion. This is a corner clip, like that. 
just gotta come up like that. All right, bam. Just gotta go in here, bam, like that. There you go. You just do the first trial. All kill brick, all transparent kill bricks are hand collect true for this section. Or segment, whatever you call it. Oh yeah, the section's a GBJ. It's very easy. Just walk across. Don't mess it up. And this trial, it's just a little simple um push box section that you you can only you can kind of only push it using these, which push the push box over. Oh yeah, um, let's just go all the way into that, there you go, bam. There are some hidden green buttons, like, over the, um, over the buttons that activate, you know, the green boxes to show that you've completed it. There you go. Welcome to the last segment, and the sun is rising. I meant, <laughs> the sun is going down. This jump used to be much harder, so I decided to nerf it. This jump also used to be very terrible, so I nerfed it. This jump, it's the hardest in the segment. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just go in like this angle, like that. String platform. There. Now you can't go back inside. The final stretch finally will lead you to losing all your progress. So please, whatever you do, do um, whatever you do, don't fall. Um, this this section, this um, this final stretch is actually easy if you've practiced it. So basically, this just gives a recap of all the segments, kinda. Like some of the gameplay was based off of the actual segments, the gameplay of the segments, if you know what I mean. Also, by the way, to note that I added a lighting changer that makes it darker each section of the um, final stretch. By the way, this you're supposed to. It used I used to make it so you're supposed to trust flick to the other side of this truss, but I changed it because um, there was a chance of luck clipping, and yeah, it was very annoying. Also, I suggest to um, um, jump late so you can't hit the side of this thing. Oh yeah, this used to be, this, all of this used to not be here, so you're supposed to like go only like this just to turn like that. But I decided to nerf it so you can just do it like that, just to be um, safe. Oh yeah, you don't have to do it this way, you could just jump onto it, which um, is kind of tricky, but you can still get it. This has got to be the hardest jump of the room by far. But basically, you can make it easier by just swinging this around. Make sure you time it right. Like that. Just go around. Why did I do that? Okay, you know what? Just make sure the beat block just goes away. Like that. Then just go. Half stud, slanted walk around. This should give you some Citadel uneasiness flashbacks. This is still- that, that jump is still easy. A no jump section, just like the segment, um, like that. This, be very careful, I suggest doing it over here, just so you don't get, like, slid off because of this thing. Just slide over like that, um, one stud squeeze, good luck if you're on mobile. Hit it, there you go. Tip, look through the glass parts, like that, see? Basically, you can see through some of the can collide um, false parts. All the all the um, all the transparent parts, which you can see through from the glass, is can collide false. See, and also this one, so you can just jump onto here like that. Final segment of the final stretch. Don't. Up oh, when I just fell. <laughs> and then last jump is a 12 star jump. Please don't fail it. Please just try your best not to fail it. But yeah, that's it. Some some facts about this. This took me um 17 hours and 
34 minutes for me to build. By the way, this room is only made for Hexa Shards Rooms of Terror. This will be in Area 3, I think. So yeah, if you want to see this in the actual game and you want to beat this legit, go ahead, um, try to beat it legit in Area 3 it, when once it comes out. Also, by the way, the neon cubes are can collide, I'm true. So have fun. But please don't actually do it in a legitimate run because there's a chance of not returning. But yeah, that's all. This took like a really long time and I'm so proud it's finally finished. And last note, this final stretch used to be much shorter, but still it was like very, very hard. It was like this difficulty of this segment. So yeah, um, it, it was actually rushed as well. So I decided to remove it and actually replace it with this, um, which I got to say, which is much better because literally um, a final stretch with this, with this sort of difficulty of gameplay, that's, that's so bad, like, dude. At least be thankful uh, this exists, but yeah. Um, this, this final stretch is, like, longer than the room. Not, like, longer as in time, I mean, longer as in length. Look at that. But yeah, that's it. Just a little, um, commentary on this room, because, you know, it's extreme. Just want to give people tips on, like, you know... By the way, good luck if you're gonna ever beat this legit. This is very hard, actually. But if you're very skilled, you should you should beat this easily.